Hi, I'm Carl from Huawei Developers and welcome to Develop with HMS Core. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate Huawei ADS Kit into your app. Huawei ADS Kit includes a traffic monetization and advertising identifiers. So, let's now talk about how to obtain the open advertising identifier into your app. The OAID is a non-permanent device identifier, enabling you to provide personalized ADS for users while protecting their privacy. It also facilitates your cooperation with third-party tracking platforms to use OAIDs for conversion attribution. Let's get started. First, open Android Studio, select Empty Activity, give your app an app package a name, and click Finish to create an Android project. Open the Build Gradle file in the Gradle directory and add the Huawei Maven repository. Next, open the Build Gradle file in the App directory and add the Huawei ADS identifier dependency to dependencies. Open the Activity main file and add two text views for accessing the Add screen. Add the corresponding text view in the activity ADID file to display the add information. Open the main activity file and use the onclick method to go to OAID activity. Then use OAID activity to implement the OAID callback API. Click on create to initialize related components. Create a get identifier thread and start the thread. Next, use OAID SDK util in the thread to obtain the OAID. Call the onSuccess method to receive the obtained OAID and use update add ID info to update it to the add information. Open the OAID SDK util file, use advertising ID clients in the get OAID method to obtain Huawei ad information and execute related callback functions. And there you go, you've now obtained the OAID into your app. Let's launch the demo app to try it out. Launch the installed app and tap OAID sample. This will display the ad information screen, allowing you to view the ad information. And that's it. We have now successfully obtained the OAID into your app. Capability development in the traffic monetization is coming soon. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or visit the Huawei developers website and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.